So here's just a quick comparison of uh, valve springs. These are the Thule uh, BTR S Platinum 660 lift dual racing springs. There's a spec. And then this is the Platinum 6, 660, same thing. One just has the uh, titanium retainers. So we're going to be putting these, this set here, on these uh, 317 heads that I ported. These are uh, I believe for a turbo car. Just got some mild chamber work, multi-angle valve job. You can see some of the some of the porting. Kind of a real, real mild head. Um, not too wild. Stock, stock seats, stock uh, valves. Sorry for all the camera movement. I'm doing this one-handed. Hope I don't get anybody sick. There's the intake port. It's actually got a little bit of WD-40 in there, so it looks real wet, shiny, and smooth. So, anyways, this is what you get with the Tooley spring set. You get some seats, Viton seals, very nice. Uh, Dual spring. It's got like this high polish finish. Um, I just got to wipe everything off. Even though they come in a plastic bag, everything gets a little bit dusty. Locks, retainers. And this is basically what it looks like when you get a brand new set. Mr. Tooley sends you a warning showing what seals to use. Basically, get a package of the same stuff. Now, these are the titanium retainers. Don't want to mix this stuff up. So, it's the titanium retainer versus the steel one. The steel one looks like it's got some kind of nitride hardening or something like that. Um, you could even see the, the tie ones actually. Look like they have a little bit more machining on them. Maybe lighten them up even a little bit more. Make you kind of see a back-to-back -back difference as my phone decides to focus. But everything else in the box between the two kits seems to be exactly the same. Um, other than the retainers. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Put these bad boys together. So one of the first things I like to do before uh, installing the seals is make sure we got uh, nice clean seats for the steel seat to sit on. Um, make sure the valve guides are nice and clean. Um, always make sure your valves and guides are within spec tolerances. You don't want to Put this thing together and have the thing have a leaky valve guide and uh, you've got a smoky exhaust and then uh, I use this Repsol 4T um, this is just some stuff that I use on in my Ducati it has a little spout and they just kind of come over here and give each one of the valve seals A little messy trying to do this with the camera but just get some lube on the rubber and I do have I made this this is a valve seal installer I highly recommend one of these um, you'd hate to find out that you've ripped your uh, 
valve seal installing them with the 12 millimeter socket. Uh, once you got the heads installed and, and on. So basically what I'll do is I'll, you can see how this fits up. I'll just go ahead and lightly tap that on, but you see how that seats against that valve seal. It's got a really nice seat. It's not going to interrupt the spring. Ready? Mm -hmm. So we got most of the seats on, seals on the guides. Just set the seat there. Get our uh, seal installation tool. A couple light taps. You'll hear that metallic, bottom it out, no rips, you're good to go. So next we've got our stock 2 inch valve, uh, put some light, I use that Repsol oil, go ahead and insert in the guide, spin it in there, make sure it feels good, no grit, nothing hanging up, seals nicely. Uh, spin it. These have all had the. They've all had the uh, valve space, so we know they're straight. But if you're just slapping them back together, you probably just want to at least check that. Make sure you don't have a bent valve. That's good. So after you're done cleaning all your components, retainers, springs, seats, install the seals, clean the valves. Uh, you get to the point where you install the spring, make sure the seat's there, followed by the seal, valves in, set the spring there, retainer on top, I have this little chicken shit um, valve spring compressor, make sure you're not hitting anywhere on the head, especially if you have a fresh uh, mill job. And these Thule springs are not nice to, to compress. If you get this thing the right depth, then it's not, the keepers don't fight you. They snap right in, gently release them off. And typically, what I like to do is make sure everything seats. I just get a rubber mallet and Oops, don't do it with the dusty rubber mallet. <laughs> Alright. So here's the installed Thule springs. These are with the stainless. Instead of my hand ported street heads. 224cc, 85cc exhaust port. 